do you know that there is fall stuff everywhere in the stores? I'm burning up. <laughs> I might be burning a pumpkin candle back there. All right. What a hypocrite. Let's film a favorites video. So today we're here to talk favorites. I have good stuff. I have a whole mix too. I have makeup, I have skincare, I have perfume, I have clothes. I have something for your camel. <laughs> Let's start with skincare. So my aunt sent me this little gem. So, oh, oh, I do have the little one. So my aunt had sent me, no. I think a brand had sent me this little mini Foreo and I used it a few times and I was like, mm, I don't know, but the bigger one, I don't know if it's because it's bigger or if it's because this is the one for oily skin, but the little bristles on it are different. This one, I'm assuming this one's for dry skin because the bristles are really, really soft and I just felt like it didn't really do much. But this one, I freaking love. Like, my skin has been doing so good. I love it. I use it every night to wash my face. And then another really cool thing, they have these little things on the back. I don't know. It's supposed to be for anti-aging. So you can put a serum on and kind of go over areas where you have, you know, like problem areas. Like, I do it around my eyes. It's amazing. I freaking love this thing. It's so, so, so good. So I've been using this with my Tula cleanser, which is always another favorite. Um, I'll pop in a close up of it. Amazing together. They're the same color, which I just love. And the product, the actual face wash with the Foreo is just magical. So first favorite, I love it. I know these are pricey, but if you've been on the fence, you've been thinking about it, and you're like, eh, I don't know if it's really good. I've really noticed a difference on my nose because I get like, you know, like little blackheads and stuff. And like when I get up close in this mirror, girl, my nose looks so much better. So I think she's doing what she's supposed to do. I really like it. I do have a face mask to mention. The firm, the pharmacy, the pharmacy honey potion. I have had this mask for quite a while and I used it the other night on Snapchat and I was like, I forgot how good this was. It's a warming mask. So when you put it on, it kind of warms up a little bit, which I really like. I feel like that's a very like soothing thing. And I really like the way it feels. This is not my normal type of mask. Usually I go for the ones that are like pore clogging, like more of like a charcoal mask or a mud mask or something with like AHAs or acids in it. So this is a very different type of mask for me, but it's so soothing. When you take it off, your skin just feels so like fresh and relaxed. And I don't know, I really like the way it makes my skin feel. I love that it comes with this little thing and it's a magnet. <laughs> it's the little things. But it's really nice and it has the, here I'll show you. It has the consistency of like, like a thick honey. Oh, I'm getting it on myself. So it's like, it just feels like a thick honey and it's so nice. And once you rub it in, it kind of takes on like a whitish appearance, but you just let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes and then rinse it off. It makes your skin feel so good. I love pharmacy in general. Their honeymoon glow serum is my favorite. That's what took over good jeans for me. It's incredible. So pharmacy as a whole, I'm really a fan of. This is a nice one if you're looking for a hydration mask, something just like soothing. Look what I had for lunch. Cup of noodle. We're high class over here, beach. Okay, let's talk about pubes. Can I say that on YouTube? Okay, so this Venus 2-in-1 Cleanser and Shave Gel. This is formulated or it's marketed for the cooch. So I am Greek, which we all know because I announce that all the time. But I have very coarse hair. So I have coarse brows. Everything on me is coarse, including ba-boom. 
the cookie. Ew. So I'm very prone to razor bumps. So I have to be really careful. My mom, I think my mom got me this. It's really, really nice. I thought it was gonna be gimmicky. Now the razor that goes along with this from the same collection, very gimmicky. Does not work, don't like the razor at all. I used it once and it's been sitting in the same spot forever. But this is really good. It's like a thick gel, but it really, I do think it helps to avoid razor bumps or to prevent them. It, it helps, I think. Ingrown hairs, oh. I had one last year, this is gonna be way TMI, but I had an ingrown hair last year that literally was the size of a quarter, like the bump. For I had it for months, it would go away, then it would come back, could not get the, it, okay, it was bad. So I've been using this probably like most of the summer, maybe like July and August, and I, I think it's really good. What else do we have? Oh, one more skincare. So I just got a little sample of this, but I am gonna buy the full size. Exuvian's Age Reverse Hydra Firm. It's a moisturizer. It is so good. It's a gel cream, which is my favorite type of moisturizer. Exuvian's is pricey, but this just feels so good. Doesn't leave behind like a weird sticky feel, which y'all know that is like my number one thing that I hate with skincare. If you are gonna make my face freaking sticky, we're done. So it says it targets the look of aging skin, including dehydration, poor texture, and uneven skin tone and wrinkles. Like, check, 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 hello, I'm first in line. That is so me. So soothing and it is a little bit cooling. It's just so smooth going on, soaks in really well. I'm a huge fan. And I will dish out the probably 50 to $70 for the full size. Let's find out. Oh, oh, who? $79? No. Yes, oh, binch, oh no. 79 doll hairs. That hurts. But I think I think it might be worth it. Like I'm always willing to pay more for skincare. Whereas with makeup, I'm like, do I really need it? You know, especially considering what I found at the freaking dollar store. We're gonna talk about it. So if you guys haven't seen my Dollar General trying Dollar General makeup video, I'll put it up in a card. This little gem, the skin finish foundation, has now taken the top spot in my foundation life. What do you think about that? I have not used my L'Oreal Infallible um, since I got this. That is unheard of. Y'all know that I love Infallible and I could not find anything better for years. This has topped it. This is from the dollar store, it's $5. I'm pretty sure it's $5. The Skin Finish Foundation, it says medium to full coverage, but I think it's a lighter coverage. I've been mixing it with my Hydroflex from Tarte only because the shade is too light for me. But I do love the two of them together. I have both of them on today. Like my skin looks so good. And since I got under eye filler, which I think I mentioned that to you guys before, um, it just makes it even better. Like the under eye filler has made such a huge difference in my face, it's incredible. But I do have a video coming on it I filmed the whole process, so you guys will see that. But she's my new Holy Grail foundation. I've been wearing it every single time I wear a foundation. This is on my face. And I have the shade Neutral Tan, but it's a little bit too light for me right now. And in the Tarte, I have Tan Sand. They're perfect together. Speaking of Tarte, I got a little sample of the Surfer Curl Mascara. Oh my gold. I'm going to buy the full size of this also. It is really, 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 really good. So usually I use waterproof, so I was a little leery. I'm like, is this gonna get all over my face? Especially with it being summer, it's really hot out. My eyelids are so oily that mascara just gets everywhere if I don't use waterproof. But I've been wearing, oh, I do have a little smudge, but that's, <laughs> that's my error. Um, I've been wearing this every time I wear makeup and I have yet to have a problem. It's super easy to remove. It gives curl. 
it gives length but it, it gives you like a fluffy lash i'm obsessed i love the wand this little packaging is getting really messy though but the wand is like my kind of wand oh amazing this is my new fave i am going to buy the full size as soon as i make it to sephora oh speaking of dollar general makeup this lip combo has been my go-to it's actually like a lip trio so i wear the believe beauty long lasting lip liner and barely there it's gorgeous it's such a good lip liner and it's like three dollars i just don't understand and then the lipstick is the satin crush lipstick and moroccan spice it is what i have on now it's just gorgeous it's so pretty i know you guys saw this in my dollar general video but i love them so much that i had to talk about them again and then on top i've been putting one of my favorite glosses the lifter gloss from maybelline in moon mm, it's just so pretty like it's so pretty we'll add a little gloss what more do you want i'm giving you super inexpensive makeup that's bomb what more do you want i deserve a, a medal an oscar an award we're kind of breezing right through this aren't we okay i have a little brow gel that i've been loving and literally when i say little it's tiny so this is the elf wow brow i have neutral brown and i also have like a darker brown but look at this little it's so teeny tiny it's so inexpensive but it's so good i really have been liking this little brow gel oh also before we get into this we need to talk again i know we talked about it once the ofra don't play their new brow what are they calling it brow gel i've been using it the way that i would use like a soap for soap brows so it comes with this little spoolie i just do a, a super teeny tiny little dip run it through get my brows nice and fluffy let it dry then i go in with my glossier brow flick and then i put this on top it's really good it's so good you don't need to spend a lot on makeup to get good makeup so these three have been my go-to brow products along with my brow flick which i always use oh i have a brush so this is the wayne goss zero four brush i freaking love this brush it's so soft but what i really like this for so i use this like over here and like on the outer part of my lid if I, like today i wanted to use this darker purple shade and i'm like that's really really dark this is so good because it doesn't pick up a ton of product the brush is really soft it's not too dense and it really diffuses the product so that you're getting the color but it's very like blown out and this brush is just like perfect for that i love it and also lower lash line oh oh perfect oh also wanted to mention the dossier woody sage now you guys know the ambery saffron is my go-to fragrance i wear it every day of my life but the woody sage which is a dupe for the joe malone i only have a little one wood sage and sea salt they smell so similar it's crazy they smell so freaking similar i'm gonna put a little bit more on Bitch, I went in my eye. I'm blind. A bitch is blind. Oh, now it's in my mouth. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it smells so fresh and good. I guess it might be the it's not the grapefruit because usually i'm not a grapefruit person whatsoever i don't really get grapefruit from this i get the like the amber but there's something in there that's maybe it's the fig makes it smell so 
fresh and just like you're in the middle of like an enchanted forest. It smells so good. Definitely my second favorite from Dossier. Oh, that's so nice. That is so nice. Mm. I have two clothing items, then we're done. Oh, also, look how cute this Starbucks cup is. Are you dead? <gasps> we love her. Mm. Okay, first clothing favorite is this freaking sweater that I found in Express. Actually, Tara found it, and we both ended up buying it. Tell me that is not so stinking cute. I wore it the other night out to eat with jean shorts and just white Converse, and it looked so cute. I love how the back also is a V cut, like you can tell it's the same both sides. It's a really nice thin material, so it's a good like end of summer sweater. I am obsessed. It's a little cropped, but it's not too short. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. It's pricey, so make sure you use a coupon, like sign up for Express's emails. But I loved it so much, I just had to get it. And then we have to talk about these jeans. Again, Tara discovered these jeans. I'm gonna have to stand up to show oh, you. Another favorite was this um, shirt that I got from Target. I just got it. I love this so much. It's so comfortable. It's from Colsey. It's just like a thin gray, like the inside is so soft. It feels like pajamas. It probably is pajamas, but I think it looks so cute. I just have American Eagle um, jean shorts on. Such a cute, like easy summer outfit. Anyway, back to these jeans. They're wide, like super, super wide. They're so long. I'm going to insert a picture of me wearing them. I love, I freaking love these jeans. They're so good. I feel like the majority of the population is not going to be able to wear them because they're too long. But Tara ordered these and they were just dragging on the floor. She's like, you need to try these on. So I tried them on. I was obsessed. So I ordered, I had to get one size bigger because the ones she had were way too tight. So these are a 30. They fit me perfect. They're a touch big, but it's amazing. Like I sent my friend Deanna a picture and she's like, those jeans look like they were tailored to your body. Like they fit you so good. So these are from Vici. They're the, I think they're called the High Rise Distressed. I will have it down below, but they are so good if you're super tall and you're looking for wide leg jeans. So good. Oh, I do have an unfavorite. Okay. So, uh, I feel bad. But this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1. So this is the product that is a perfect dupe, almost a perfect dupe, for the Charlotte Tilbury. I'll put it on the screen. I'm totally forgetting the name of it. I used to have it and I must have gotten rid of it because I can't find it. Now this, they say you can use it as a primer, concealer, highlighter, BB cream. Yeah. The Charlotte one, I would always just kind of like dab on my cheekbones, but I've seen people use it all over before foundation for like that really bright glow under your foundation though so it just kind of peeks out a little bit this one is beautiful this one's fair the color is just like spot on for the charlotte one a thousand percent but the formula of the maybelline one is a little greasy so i don't know if this is just me but there's no way that i could wear this on my face like there's no way I could put it on my shoulders and like my chest to get that really pretty glow but as far as putting this on my face the greasiness for me just there's no way and the Charlotte one didn't have that greasiness to it so I don't think they're a perfect dupe but they're real close like eight out of ten stars for sure like the glow that it gives I want to say is a really really spot on but the Charlotte one's really expensive. This one's like, what, $10? So I do think this is a really, really good dupe. If you've been wanting to try the Charlotte one, but you don't want to spend the money, try this one. 
but beware if you're oily, which if you're oily, this is not like really a product for you anyway. But like me, if you're like me and you're like, well, I need to try it. I don't want to be left out just because I'm oily. That's how I am. Just know that it, the Maybelline one is a little bit greasier than the Charlotte one. But still really pretty. Like, I wouldn't even call this an unfavorite. It's just kind of like a whatever favorite. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I just wanted to talk about it. All right, call me out. Okay, so I think that's everything that I wanted to talk about. So, as always, let me know your favorites down below, especially clothing favorites, like for fall. If you guys ever find good jeans that are like super, super, super long, you better tell me. I will find you. Let me know all your favorites down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Why do my pants look like they're pulled up so high? Steven Urkel in the house. This is a fail. You can't tell anything. Nicole, what are you doing? Put the eyeshadow away. Good lord. Good grief. You're not getting a demo of me putting this on the cam, okay? So if that's why you're here, you might as well freaking leave now, you nasty. I'm not putting this on my cooter for you. I can't believe you guys would even ask me to do that. Disgusting. And sick. You're freaking sick. You. Wait, this matches? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What is happening today? This is the best day of my life. This matches me. <sighs> It has the consist. That's not a word. It's a good day, have a good day, it's a good day. Uh, uh. It's a good day, have a good day, it's a good day. Uh, uh. Let me make sure there's no pubes on this. <laughs> I'm afraid they're freaking close up of it. That would be disgusting. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. <laughs> oh, it's a dark out. Are you see? <sighs> I still have my makeup on. Look at those perky under eyes. Mmm. What a beauty queen. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I gotta clean this room up because every time I walk, I stub my old baby toe. And I'm in the air.